rise and shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Well, welcome back in everyone. Here is a look at Tyler with our Skyview camera brought to you by Cables Roofing. We are seeing some passing clouds out there. We'll call it partly to mostly cloudy overall across the area. Temperature wise right now, we are sitting at 78 in Tyler with a dew point of 73, so it's pretty humid out there this morning. Temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s across the Arklatex and also two hours south. We've got plenty of 80s on the board, so another very warm start to our day today. We're going to start off with some cloud cover, but we'll see more sunshine as we head into the afternoon. But the sun comes out and the heat really increases. We climb to the middle and upper 90s later today with that heat index topping out as high as 115 in some locations this afternoon, especially the farther south and west you go across the area closer to where that uh, upper level ridge of high pressure is located, which is responsible for this heat that we have been seeing. Now taking a look at what we have with future cast, we will be dry most of the day today. We saw the clouds decrease this afternoon, but late this evening we could see a few showers and thunderstorms start to move on in after about 8 o'clock. By 10 o'clock tonight, we'll still see an isolated shower or thunderstorm out there. Can't rule it out having a 60 mile per hour wind gust or an instance of quarter sized hail, but for the most part, severe weather remains low for our day today into tonight. By midnight, we'll start to wind things down out there. We will be dry into your early Tuesday morning hours, and then by Tuesday afternoon, we'll be mostly dry as well. We could see more 100s on the board, especially down into deep east Texas. Most of the showers and storms tomorrow will be developing off to our east, but can't rule out one of these storms crossing over this, uh, the Sabine River and bringing some brief heavy downpours here in east Texas. By 7 o'clock in the evening Tuesday, we are all dry and we'll see a few passing clouds into your early Wednesday morning. By 6 a.m. Wednesday, we're starting out in the middle and upper 60s with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Now again, we will have a chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm for the next couple of days here, but uh, rain chances should be lower overall, <clears throat> excuse me, than what we've seen over the past several days. So that's at least some good news. We'll be slightly cooler to end this work week. Uh, of course, it's all relatively speaking because it's still going to be in the middle 90s. We'll climb back to near 100 heading into this coming weekend. For deep east Texas, it's more of the same isolated showers and storms possible through Thursday. Uh, very warm out there. We could get to 100 uh, tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, we have another chance of reaching the 100 degree mark as we head into this coming weekend, especially by the day on Sunday as we look to continue to see mostly sunny skies. Bottom line here is that uh, the rain chances are going to be going down generally over the next few days, but the heat is not going anywhere anytime soon. That